if you're new to the channel please be sure to like share and of course subscribe and leave a comment down below and also check out our partners nerds in the hood down in the description and i hope to see you later on peace out hey what's up you guys and welcome to another alternative factuals video now i'm not really going to be discussing so much of a movie kind of thing so to speak in a little bit but this is what i am going to do i am going to chat with you guys about the most powerful black man to have ever existed in marvel comics well one of the most powerful i guess i guess there's a list and a tier but i'm not going to get into all that and if you like our content please ring that bell and without further ado let's really jump into what i want to be talking about so today i'm actually going to be discussing blue marvel aka um adam brashear now like I said, there has been some chat with the success of like, you know, the Black Panther movie and the Luke Cage series and all that stuff that they're going to start introducing more characters of color, not just, you know, obviously black people, but even they're thinking about bringing in the other Miss Marvel, the teenager who's Muslim, I believe. I forget her name. It's not coming to me, but the picture will show up on the screen, obviously. Um, but with that being said, we're going to discuss how they, well, not necessarily how they're going to introduce them, but I'm going to say how they possibly could kind of bring this character in and why it would be successful. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Adam Brashear, aka Blue Marvel, was, in comic book wise, he was born and raised in, you know, Chicago, Illinois. And from an early age, he was really this, like, really intelligent dude. Like, he was a prodigy. He has, like, a really high high level IQ and I believe he actually is on the list of like one of the most intelligent people in the Marvel Universe. Now of course he actually was you know in the Korean War because remember Adam Brashear's origin takes place during like you know the night like you know 1930s 40s and 50s. I say I think more like 40s like 50s and 60s that's what I mean sorry but um yeah so you know he's been in a couple wars and he's a seasoned veteran so to speak and he was highly intelligent and he was actually trying to create this uh this project the scientific attempt to harness antimatter through the creation of what they call a negative reactor or something like that which created this uh bridge to uh the negative zone and the positive multiverse well the positive matter multiverse itself and of course like every other superhero movie something has to absolutely go wrong some explosion goes off and then he gets these abilities now he wasn't alone in that explosion his partner sims was there and he got turned into pure energy and thus came back as like a villain and you know basically they can cancel each other out whatever like that but basically the reactor would allow him to like you know almost store like a uh, nearly unlimited energy he still has a captive's power but due to this explosion in the reactor basically the blue marvel adam adam brashear became a stable antimatter reactor and developed like a set of super human abilities for example and a lot of people aren't well aware of blue marvel because he isn't one of those super super known characters but he does exist currently in marvel comics even though he does um his origin starts in like the 50s and 60s because of his abilities he actually ages really slow and his strength and you know intelligence and everything else is pretty high in the rector scale but anyway his powers usually you know his physiology you know lets him live for long periods of time without like air or water or anything to sustain him he doesn't need it does he still do it of course but he doesn't necessarily need it in order to survive uh, he has superhuman strength um there is a point in time when the blue marvel actually just decked the hulk the ultimate universe halt like no problem um was capable of lifting you know anything you know from 100 tons and above um quite easily actually and lifting uh the 1960 era's american warship enterprise which weighs like 93,000 tons so he's just like his strength is off the charts believe it or not and um he has mental uh perception well enhanced mental perception basically high hyper cosmic awareness so he can kind of see what's going on any given place at any time in the universe nine vulnerability antimatter manipulation um concussive force bolts stun bolts energy pulse energy manipulation uh matter manipulation all that good stuff along with his genius level intellect now the reason why they would be able to bring his character into any kind of movie or tv series i personally would recommend a tv series due to the success of black lightning but you know i think marvel can definitely get a nice squeeze out of a series for the blue marvel for many different reasons but i'll get into it a little later but um with captain marvel coming into the series and they having a similar power set so to speak it really can be done and it can be done well obviously because marvel knows what they're doing and i kind of want to see what you guys feel about that now the concept of the blue marvel is mostly just an idea that of course he is a black superhero and him existing in the 50s and 60s really his abilities aren't really so much the core of his stories at least the five issue miniseries that took place about his origin and the, le the legend of adam brashear aka the blue marvel but 
the a lot of his stories are really not supposed to you know him encountering encountering somebody who he can't defeat because in terms of sheer physical power he's definitely top 10 in the marvel universe and i'm not referring to people who are reality warpers i'm talking about like sheer physical strength or energy manipulation and stuff like that but his character was actually you know supposed to be a lot like black lightning luke cage which came out like you know well Blue Marvel came out in 2008, but all those other, you know, Luke Cage and stuff like that came out like, you know, the 70s, 80s and 60s and stuff like that during a time when the civil um, civil rights movement was taking place. But in this story, you know, chronologically speaking, in Marvel Comics, this story does take place back in a day where, you know, black people were not seen in the best light. Anything who wasn't white, basically, they were not seen in the best light or in the best of ways. And him being a superhero, he hid his identity, not simply because he didn't want people to find out who he was and his family and all that stuff but basically the reason he hit his identity was because he was black and then at the time people would be afraid of a black man who can literally destroy them without a you know without breaking a sweat and during his his battle with anti-man i believe that's exactly what happened actually his mask was ripped off the world found out that it was a black man who was saving them all this time they was not ready for that and the president actually asked him to step down and gave him a medal of honor but they faked his death so to speak and he just never really came back and he He's been mostly living his life because, like I said, he has a he has a longevity, which basically allows him to live for a long period of time. So even though he's like practically like 80, 90 years old, physically he looks like he's like maybe in his late 30s, early 40s. And like I said, due to the success of Black Panther, Black Lightning, and uh, Luke Cage, and anything Black related in terms of TV and uh, you know superheroes, what makes this really important for I guess the TV screen is the fact that Marvel will get that diversity aspect as well as the fact that they're going to be able to actually tell a decent story that isn't just about someone's power set i would say they should take a book out of black lightning where like a lot of it should take place in the original time in which the comic book was you know written in which is like the 50s and 60s and having someone to deal with those racial issues while still being one of the most powerful people on the planet earth and him not being able to tell and you know i feel like eventually over the course of even if it's a series over the or a movie whatever like that over the course of time as he kind of progresses and grows you know in whatever ways that he can you know people begin to you know maybe accept him but still he's dealing with the issues of the time that he's you know kind of becoming a hero becoming himself and dealing with the fact that he himself is this black superhero who people will not accept during that specific point in time but uh, like i said let me know what you guys think about adam brashear possibly coming to the tv screen you know whether it be a marvel movie or a marvel tv series or whatever the case may be let me know how you would like to see him and i hope to see you later on peace out